thing on. <laughs> really like I really hoped it would be like High School Musical but to my uh, prevail it was not <laughs> um I have the assumptions that I get bullied a lot honestly yeah that it was like a movie I guess I didn't really have any other outside opinions on it not really I mean like I was just more scared of being popular I guess like trying to fit in uh, yeah, like I figured, you know, it'd be more like homework, and I don't know, I, I thought it was gonna be bigger, obviously, and like scarier, but mostly just like work and like teachers, not like any other assumptions, I guess. Going to grade eight, uh, I, I actually had quite a few insecurities. Yes, I was very insecure. Yeah, the way I looked like, compared to other people, yeah. I'll give you two guesses of which insecurities I had going in eighth grade. <laughs> One, my size. I had a pretty big, I wouldn't call it body dysmorphia because it wasn't that bad, but it was, I had issues with my body. About myself and I think part of like, like who my friends were at the time. Yes. Um, I had basically no friends because I had gone to an elementary school that wasn't in the catchment for Tweetsmere. So I knew one kid and he had a whole bunch of other friends that were going to Tweetsmere, so I never really saw him about my height, um, um, what I looked like, and also just like having like a lot of friends because that was a big thing, especially like at my age in grade eight. So like if you weren't popular and like you didn't look cool and didn't dress like everybody else, then you wouldn't be like, you'd get bullied. And I just, I wasn't sure if I was ready for high school. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I want to go more yeah. into that. Like, I don't know. I just didn't know who I was. So. Um, and then another issue I had was during seventh grade, I believe I started to take a little bit of a mental decline. So, you know, not feeling too hot going in anyways. Um, you know, I feel like everybody does. Like, I was an awkward, chubby kid. <laughs> and that was an insecurity, I guess. But... Not really. No, not really. I don't think so. I always had a solid group of people. Maybe just like here and there in grade eight, it was, but then everybody in band and athletics was just always there. I guess, yeah, like from like the main like group of people in like high school, but like I fit in with my friends and I think that's what mattered. And I fit in like academically, like I wasn't like an outcast in class. Yeah, definitely in like social groups kind of felt left out at times. If we're talking like popular kids, oh, I was so far out of the loop. It was, it was, it was sad. <laughs> I was kind of always with a group, so there was never really a time where I didn't fit in. I kind of just, I'm very social, so I guess it's easy for me to fit in, so no, not really. I mean, uh, I hit it off with a couple of people pretty quick in eighth grade, or during high school, I guess, so. I guess there weren't times when I feel I didn't fit in because I'd already solidified myself within a group. Yes. Yeah, get skinnier. That's about it. I felt I had a pretty good circle going into it. I could be myself without changing too much. Um, I don't know if I actually like caved into it, but I think there's definitely like pressure to like act a certain way and like dress a certain way and be friends with certain people and change that, but. I don't think it really got to me. <laughs> mm, no, I kind of just did it on my own, and I started to do my own thing. Um, you know, like, no, not a lot of people liked it just because, you know, I was trying to be different than other people, but as I started to gain, gain more confidence, um, I, like, felt better and stuff. No, I've been pretty confident in myself, so I haven't really worried about changing, especially when I surround myself with the good people. I got told at the beginning of grade 8 that I had a... Do I say this properly? I had a fuckboy haircut, so I changed my hair 
to look like what everybody called Mount Everest because it was just a giant spike in the middle. Not in high school, no. Um, yes and no. Yes, uh, I was. I was bullied in grade 8 and grade 9. Um, I don't really know what for, but yes. We'll say no. No, actually, I wasn't. Not, like, seriously. Like, obviously, there was, like, the stuff with, like, your friends. And sometimes they could take it a little too far, but, like, they're still my friends. But nothing, like, bad, <laughs> I don't think. Absolutely. In, like, a good way or a bad way? Both. Care to elaborate? No. Um, it definitely changed um, in a good way because... If it didn't change, I wouldn't have as much confidence as I had before. Yeah, definitely through grade 8 it was iffy and then it got better and I changed for the better. I don't think I've really holistically, like my whole personality has changed. I've always been very similar, but I've just matured over time. I guess like, I guess like the bullying kind of helped it, helped me in a way. Because like if I didn't get bullied, then I wouldn't have kind of like like stepped out of my comfort zone uh i think i think so it's hard to remember who like grade eight me was i think i'm a lot less shy i'm still a little bit like closed off about some stuff but i'm definitely more open um i'd say it changed positively because i think yeah you guys knew me in seventh grade it's not not as social not as you know talkative i kept to myself hung out with all the people who didn't have any other friends because you know meshed easy and I found, especially like in the past like year and a bit, um, that I'm I find it easier to talk to people, and I'm like more willing to make new friends, I guess, which is something I didn't think would happen. So that was so I guess it changed for the good. No. <laughs> that uh, one guy, Mr. Clark, he's pretty cool. All my band teachers, I would say, because band is so like individual, but not. And so, like, all of them kind of helped me to, like, <laughs> I don't know, be more confident and stuff. And so, like, that that was really nice support. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like, they've all, a lot, a lot of them have supported me in, like, different ways. None of it has been if I needed help with, like, challenges in school. So it was, it's just been there to, like, talk if I wanted to hang out. Yeah, I say they definitely had changed through the years depending on what classes I had. But yeah, I'd always say there was at least one teacher there for me to support me. After my second high school relationship ended, I had a saxophone lesson on the same day. He was very supportive and just did not care at all and was just like, we're going to be playing saxophone today. It'll distract you. Am I allowed to say that I almost died? <laughs> 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 that has everything no, to do with not. school. I mean, I, I think I speak for a lot of people when I say it was probably pandemic, if we're talking like broad. I don't think I dealt with it well. <laughs> like, I think it got to me. Um, so I don't, I don't know if I actually like overcame that or if it just went by. I don't know, it's probably just COVID because it made classes really, really hard. Like, so probably taking um, chemistry 11 and biology 12 in one quarter, uh, <laughs> that was probably my biggest academic challenge, just because it was so overwhelming <laughs> in a very short amount of time. Um, definitely when projects would delete themselves and I'd have to redo them in like an hour before the due date, that was very stressful and never learned from it. It would just always happen but I came through every time it was probably grade 10 and it was my uh, grade 10 relationship that was very stressful because I was in grade 10 and my ex-girlfriend was in grade 8 so I got bullied for that so that was very stressful I had to write the advanced placement calculus examination one week after my grandfather died and my girlfriend broke up with me. So that was pretty fun. Um, I failed that. How did 
helped you overcome that? <laughs> um... I had to do good so I could, you know, not live up to my internal self as a failure. So, you know, I had felt as if I had to get into post-secondary. I had to have decent grades. I had to do this. I had to do that. So I'm not looked at as a uh, failure. All of the above. Not, not necessarily. I kind of, I didn't really do well in school from grade 8 to, like, grade 10. So, but it wasn't, like, pressure. It was just my parents got mad at me if I didn't try. So, grade eight was bad. Grade eight was really bad, actually. Parents definitely, and whether they like to t like say, "Oh no, we didn't," they definitely did. And I mean, I appreciate it, but sometimes it was it was hard. I definitely feel like I had to get a certain mark to feel like I'm smart, but I feel like a lot of people have academic validation, and I feel like I just fall underneath that category. Yeah, I think maybe stuff like. You know, like valedictorian, you had to have like a 4.0 or above 3.5, but like that's not really motivation for me, but mostly just parents. My parents decided that it would be a good idea for my first three quarters of 2021 to consist of pre-calculus 12 and law 12 in quarter one, chem 11 and bio 12 in quarter two, and then physics 12 and AP calculus in quarter three. And that was a lot of pressure and there wasn't really any downtime for it, especially considering that I was working like 30 hours a week at the same time as those courses and it just resulted in a lot of yelling at me from my parents half and teachers accusing me of cheating when I did hand in my work because there were other kids who did not hand in their work who they thought were smarter. Yeah, I had a huge ass depressive episode 9th and 10th grade where I just wasn't having it. What? No, nope. out for the count. I mean, probably that calculus exam, that was something. I definitely just drew a smiley face on one of the questions that was worth seven points. No matter what, school has always been very grounding, per se. I don't know. I, you always come back to it. So it's never been an issue. When I'm at school, I'm at school. For sure. <laughs> definitely. Um, I, I find, personally, I go through, like, seasons of not having motivation and that really hinders my schoolwork and my grades uh it was especially bad surprisingly during the pandemic because i just it didn't seem like there was a point to it but yeah my mental health has definitely hindered my <laughs> school life yeah i definitely feel like i lacked motivation for good part of like some classes so struggled to get work done on due dates because I just didn't feel like doing it. I'd say pretty positively. I mean, still here and kind of have friends and I don't know, it's fun to be here. I'm going to miss high school, I guess. And just there have been some good memories, more so than there have been near death experiences, which is always a positive. I definitely think so, but I think after going through high school, I feel like I'll become a stronger person from it and I'll get to learn from it. And it's a good experience to have. Um, I think it's made me stronger, per se, but not really affected my mental health. Obviously, it's tough. You go through tough spots, but I think that over it's just made me a stronger person. Yeah. Um, depressive episodes. Uh, overall, though, it's been pretty decent. I mean, like, I've become more of a more fleshed out human being instead of the kid in the corner. Um, especially in grade 12, um, I just feel like I have absolutely no motivation to do anything anymore. Well, at least school. Um, but yeah, like I, I go home and I'm just like, I just don't want to go to school. But I mean, like a lot of my friends have helped me got through, like helped me through school, but it's not affected me like a lot to the point where I just like, don't want to go anymore so I'm, I'm still alive <laughs> <laughs> it definitely has um I mean like there's all like the anxieties about tests and grades and 
all of that and expectations and also just the social aspect of it like making friends staying true to your friends and like trying to fit in and but trying to stand out and anxieties and sadness and loneliness and it definitely affects your mental health but hoping it gets better once high school's done <laughs>